So today people I am back with another cyberpunk news video where we check out a brand new NPC. His name is Ozub and well he looks incredible. Today we check him out, what he does and what he offers. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. Also I am running a giveaway until this game comes out where I give away copies of cyberpunk to be with a chance of winning one drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay so this dude his name's Ozab Check him out, how amazing does he look? Check out his nose, he has a grenade as his nose. So details on this dude came from a Portuguese website and I will be lying to you if I told you I understood any of it. So I've used Google Translate to translate what we have here. So if any details are wrong, please let me know. Okay, so Ozap, the bald, red-headed albino mercenary with a red grenade in place of his nose. A dystopian clown who will be present in Cyberpunk 2077, one of the biggest gaming releases of the year. We can't disagree with that. This character will have the voice of its creator, as a girl I believe that's pronounced in the Portuguese version. There was a test with the dubbing director at the request of Azagal himself. Now approved with the studio of CDPR, the creator's participation went beyond dubbing of this character, helping with the text adaptations and the location of the lines, including slangs and more. Now the character's popularity was a decisive factor for CDPR to include him in the game. Extremely popular in Brazil, especially in the nerdy universe, Ozab is the character of Azagal in the traditional nerdcast RPG. Now episodes of the podcast, led by the duo of content creators, have a massive popularity reaching more than 4 million downloads within each edition, so you can understand why they want to add such a character into the game. Now the idea of inserting Ozab into the Cyberpunk 2077 universe came up as soon as we saw the first teaser of the game. We realised that the character had a lot of connection with the game and we talked about this desire to CD Projekt Red, the game's developer. Since then there have been countless contracts and presentations that have resulted in a special participation of which we cannot yet reveal details of. Now Ozab and a little more on this character was born in the 90s and was frozen for 20 years in my imaginary cryogenics until he came to life in the nerdcast RPG Cyberpunk in 2013. Since then he has yielded a novel of origin, Ozab Molotov Protocol. A collectible boss from Iron Studios, countless products, merchandising and is now invading the AAA gaming world. I couldn't be a more proud father, says Pezos. They go on to state Cyberpunk 77 is one of the most anticipated games of the last few years and to be able to include our creation which appeared among our Nerdcast RPG but at the same time has so much in common with the game's universe is incredible and we are happy with the result. So yes guys, this dude, this Ozab, as cool as he is and as cool as he looks, he will be within the cyberpunk universe. Now any more details on this dude, obviously I will cover them right here on my channel, so obviously stay tuned for that. But as of right now, there isn't any more details floating around the internet that can bring you. But Ozab, the bald, red-headed albino mercenary with that grenade as a nose, sounds amazing. And like I said, if anything else drops on this dude, I'll have it covered right here on my channel. But people, let me know what you think about this dude down below. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.